tahi tātou me o tātou nā here here. Ko tō tātou hono nā ki te ngā here, ara anu atu. E harai te mea he mea hou te i nei ahua. Ka whakaaro rā no i moe tō haramai ana ki konei. Nā te mea e haramai ana koe ki o tuākana, ki te āwhina mai i hākoe mō te mahi rongoa. He rongoa te nui ngā wātau a rākau kei roto i tēnā he re e tipuana. A kene kei roto anō hoki nā pichipuchi e te hi rongoa e tēnā. i tikāna mō tāua mō te tāngata. The word manawa comes from manawao tika Māori. So um, with Rua Tāhuna, it's known that Rua Tāhuna is te manawao te ika um, with the North Island. So we thought we'd take the word manawa as our business name. Kia ora, my name is uh, Nick Mitoi. Welcome to Rua Tauna. Uh, I'm a beekeeper for Manawa Hani. We're based here in Rua Tauna and um, it's going to take you fellas for a look at some of our beehives. Uh, let's go over this way. Well, before I moved to Rua Tauna, I lived in Murupara and I was a farmer down there. Just track work, possums. And yeah, things like that, just old jobs around there, nothing, nothing, um, steady. Yeah, I was approached by the trust, eh, to a funeral trust, eh, um, there was a bit of a training opportunity going on. I thought it was uh, actually a good way, a good money to actually give back, you know, to the, to the funeral and it. You know, you're not, we're not trying to take anything from the forest or from the land, we, you know, we just, I saw it as a, one of the, a good employment option. And yeah. That's how I got into it. Tomata Ropu, a Kumata, Kate Chiaki, Nafinu, and Nahiri, all of the Maru of Ruatahu. Timata Mayo Mata, Fakaro, Kitemahi Mire, Tita, Tekau Tau, Pea Kimu, Penari, Irotuano Hoki, Era, Korero, Ruatunu Mata, Eata, Ranga Hauan, Kare Mata, we hear here. Uh, ki te kāhaki noho i mua o te ata noho ki te rangahau, ki te tirotiro i nga hua tanga katoa e puta mai i roto i te rā mahi nga pai me nga kino i roto i te rā mahi i te mahi mier I don't know, like you said, we're checking in the highs for um, for food stores so they, their food sources are honey and uh, pollen of course and during the winter there's not that many natural sources for them so we're putting in supplement feed for them, you know, supplement pollen and and uh, sugar syrup, which, which are, they they turn into honey as a just as a sustenance feed, you know, as farmers would feed hay or silage to their stock. You know, we're heading into spring, which is our our build-up time where we really want to get things going, and that's when every once the bush starts flowering, then you know we'll really start seeing some movement in our hive. Yes, old the uh, um, brood frame here. It's got um see underneath all these bees is all the next generation of bees. They're probably gonna hatch in the next ten days. So that's what the, these all these bees here's job is to keep all these few bees warm. Hey, they gotta keep them at a constant temperature for the next ten to twelve days before they hatch and then they yeah, will have more bees in their hive. And all around here is all the honey, the food that gets fed to the to the eggs. Yeah, so the queen bee will lay um, 2,000 eggs a day. Looking to make sure there's a queen in there. Each each of those boxes has got a queen in, and I suppose the main lady in each hive. If, if you haven't got one of those, then you really haven't got anything. She's the only bee in the hive that lays the eggs, and all the other bees just do work, um, you know, to feed the eggs and bring the hive up to a, a good number of bees. Their honey storing instinct is storing food for winter, preparing themselves for that as well. And uh, also checking, make sure we don't have diseases or pests like the varroa mite, things like that, you know, whether they need uh, any sort of um, treatment for those sort of things. Seventy percent of our working age population in Tūrua are unemployed. 
a key thing for the trust and the trustees is to provide employment so that those whānau have an income. Um, we've got uh, four full-time staff in the office. With the beekeeping operation, we've got 2.5 FTEs full-time um, out in the field, and then we've got a number of different casual workers on and when required, yeah. Obviously the manukas and you know the gold of all honeys and um, the market is already you know it's already been established there but in a way they have paved a way for the other types of honeys so our honeys that we currently have are um, mahoi honey, tawari which is a butterscotch honey and, and we now have a manuka honey. When we first started, we didn't have manuka, so we were focused on educating the market around our new type of honey, which was um, mahoi. And um, now that we've got manuka and tawari, which is uh, more well known, um, it's actually been much easier to get into the market. Uh, uh, Nāra Kite Pakeke, kia fifi mahi, nā me au rua tāhuna. Pēne ana te tū manakoa te tū a whenua, nē, kā ora tō tāhua ngahere, kā ora hoki nā tāna tā te whāru au rua tāhuna. Ko i rā te tū manako, tēnā ki te tāi ai au e te tū a whenua, te manāki o tāhua ngahere, ka tāi a hoki e tāhua e te tū a whenua, te manāki. There's another queen right in the middle there. te tua whenua i te pēnei nā e ko te moni ana he te mea hei whāi. Ko te whānau, ko nga tāngata e noho ana, koe i rānu i te tua tahi. Ka aura hoki nga tāngata a nā, ka tahi pea ka wātea ki te titiro atu i e tehi. Well, that's a bit about what we do up here at Manawa Honey and Ruatahuna. I hope you found that uh, informative and interesting, and um, well, we'll see you next time.